Over the last 10 weeks, we have had to work hard to discover how to do church differently. Here at Calvary, we are doing our morning worship service as a live stream. Many of our life groups are meeting through a virtual technology. Our children, even our youngest ones, have their own Facebook page that allows them to stay connected as families and to grow in Jesus. Our students are meeting at their regular time on Wednesdays, but are using Zoom to connect, to interact, and to share. I meet with Pastor John and Preston on a regular basis. But as we do that, we do it from our own homes as we keep our distance. Last Tuesday, we held our deacon, trustee, and board meetings through the wonder of technology. And every Wednesday evening and Sunday morning, I meet with our leaders to pray for you and ask God to work in all of our lives. Yes, we are learning how to do church differently and our ministry differently. But here's what I've been thinking. Are we learning to be the church differently? Have these times of COVID-19 forced us to quit doing and start being? If so, I believe that is a very good thing. So many folks have contacted me and expressed their desire to physically get back together, to be able to connect as the body of Christ. I'm so looking forward to that special day. But as important as that is, to be back together physically, we should not be defined by a building. Going to a building should not be the end all of church. Checking a Sunday morning or Wednesday evening or even a special meeting box is not what the church is all about. Being is much more important than doing. Now, what does that mean? What does it mean to be the church, the body of Christ? It means that as Christ-like disciples, we are to make a difference in the lives of those who are around us. It means that we are to go into our worlds and represent Jesus. It means that we should take our love for our Lord into a hurting and lost world. It means that we must not just go through some spiritual motions and check off some spiritual boxes. Christ said that his people were to be salt and light in this world. That they were to be the light and salt of the world. He identified salt, that which seasons, that which preserves. He talked about light, which provides direction, encouragement, and helps people see their way when things are dark. No matter what is going in our lives, we, God's people, need to be. Because Jesus said that we are the church of the living God. This is identified as being salt and being light. To help those around us live a more enjoyable existence, to live in such a way that our world, whoever lives in our world, whoever we touch in our world, wherever we go in our world, that everyone recognizes that we are who we are and we do what we do because we belong to Jesus, because we are part of the family of God, because we are the church of the living God. So I've been thinking, since we have not been able to do church as we have in the past, that is, to be together in one place as the body that we call Calvary Baptist Church, I believe we are now discovering what it means to be the church. I know that we all recognize that it is more important in God's eyes to be the church than to just check some boxes and do church. So how are you? How are you doing during this time of not being able to assemble together in the building? How are you being the church? That's what I've been thinking. Now, what do you think?